Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and today I'm here with a new tutorial. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix Intel Wi-Fi and Bluetooth on Hackintosh. So before starting, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, then please go and subscribe to our channel and stay connected for the latest updates. Now coming back to the guide, the very first step is to set up BIOS to have Intel Wi-Fi and Bluetooth enabled on your system. Although your system may or may not have such options, the step is included as there are a few systems that have the option to enable Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and BIOS, which affects the functionality under Mac OS, if being disabled. Now, boot your target computer to BIOS. After booting, enable Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, and then save and exit setup, and boot back to Mac OS. Currently as you can see, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth modules are already enabled, Now, after booting to Mac OS, you'll need a few tools, and texts, which you'll be able to download from the link given under the description. Hack and tool, for verifying that your Wi-Fi and Bluetooth modules are enabled and being detected in Mac OS. Open Core Configurator, for mounting ESP, and editing config plist, and texts for enabling Wi-Fi and Bluetooth support. Now, open Hack and tool, and verify whether the installed card is being detected under Mac OS or not. For verifying your Wi-Fi, Locate your Wi-Fi module under the PCIe section in Hacken Tool. The Wi-Fi module is usually listed as Network Controller under the Class and Subclass column. Bluetooth can be verified under the USB section. In case, if you're unable to verify the Bluetooth using Hacken Tool, you can verify it from System Report, under the USB section. And as you can see, my Wi-Fi and Bluetooth modules are being detected under Mac OS. But let me show you that, none of them are functional. Here as you can see, no Wi-Fi is there. And here, nothing seems to be functional. Also, let me show you that there is no hardware being loaded under system report. Under Bluetooth, you may see the Bluetooth model as Broadcom. This is because of a bug. However, I have already shown you that. My Wi-Fi and Bluetooth module is of Intel. Now, open OpenCore Configurator, and mount your ESP. After mounting your ESP, browse to the Kexts folder. Here, you'll need to put a few Kexts. For fixing Wi-Fi, Airport ID LWM Kext is preferred, however, if your Wi-Fi isn't working, you'll need to use this ID LWM Kext, along with this Heliport app, which you should place in the Applications folder, and should add it as a login item, and hide it. You can find in-depth details on our website, check out from the link under video description. Now, copy the Airport ID LWM Kext, as it's recommended in the first place. After copying, paste it to the Kext folder of your EFI. Now, for fixing Bluetooth you'll need to use these three texts, if you're using Mac OS Big Sur or a prior version of Mac OS. But if you're using Mac OS Monterey or a later version of Mac OS, you'll need to use these three texts. As I'm running Mac OS Monterey, I'll be using these texts, copy the texts accordingly, and paste them under the texts folder of your EFI. After placing the required texts, open your config plist, and then add the kext entries in the kernel section of your config plist. After adding the entries, make sure to keep the kexts in sorted order, after the USB ports kext. Also, make sure that all the entries are enabled. Now, close open core configurator, 
and save the changes made to the config p list. And now, quit all the running apps, and eject the mounted ESP. And restart your PC, in order to see the changes. During restart, make sure to reset the NVRAM at least once. Now, the PC has been restarted, and let's check whether the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth is being loaded or not. And as you can see, Bluetooth is now loaded. Coming to Wi-Fi, it's also loaded. Now it's time to connect Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and see whether it's working or not. And as you can see, Wi-Fi has been connected to a network successfully. Now it's time for a quick speed test. The internet speed is the same on any other device. Now let's see the Bluetooth functionalities. Turning the Bluetooth on and off works, let me just connect any device. And the device has been connected successfully, and working too. So guys, finally, we have working Intel Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Some features still lack, but it's better to have something instead of nothing. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, just comment down below. Or create a thread on our forum. Make sure to check out the forum for in-depth guides. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like share, comment, and subscribe for more updates. Stay connected and have a great day.